All right, we have our two patterns here, and we want to place them on a sheet to print. We've been working in this floor plan pattern view here, and basically this is our working view. You kind of play around in here, update your tiles. You could actually make new patterns off to the side if you wanted to. Or typically, we want to print from what's called a sheet, and we also would like to create a view that's a little bit cleaner. Maybe we don't want all these reference planes and, you know, we want different text and that kind of stuff, but we want to be able to sort of keep this area the same. So what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate a view and then we're going to place that view on a sheet to print. So first thing I'm going to do is right click on this pattern view and it gives me a duplicate option. If I just duplicate it, it won't take the annotative stuff. It won't take the 2D things. It'll only take reference planes and things that are 3D. So I want to make sure that I duplicate the view with detailing. Once I click on that, it makes a copy of that view and it's pattern copy one. And what I want to do is sort of isolate and um, crop this view just so I have this one piece showing and not this piece. So to do that, what I've done is I've given you these things called scope boxes. And these allow you to automatically crop a view. So right now, I'm in this pattern copy one view and I've got nothing selected. So in the properties over here, it's going to show me the properties of the view itself. So you see it says floor plan, floor plan, pattern copy one. If I scroll down, there's an option for a scope box right here. And I can go to this pull down and I can pick scope box one or scope box two. If I pick scope box one, it will automatically crop it to that scope box. If I come down here to the pull down and pick scope box two, it'll automatically crop it to the other scope box. So I'm gonna pick scope box one and I don't really want these reference planes in there. So I'm going to pick this reference plane and I'm going to type V as in Victor and H. And that's short for view hide and it's going to hide those. I don't really want this text in here so I'm just going to pick that and delete it. And so now I have a really clean view. And if we go back to pattern, we still have that original view that has all the information on it. So now we have two views. Now. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate pattern copy one. So I'm going to right click on it, duplicate, duplicate with detailing, and it's going to give me pattern copy one, copy one. So I'm just going to right click on that and rename it and say pattern copy two. Okay. Now I'm going to switch the scope box to scope box two on this one. So now I have this cropped to that size and I'll just go ahead and delete this T2 right there. And I have the other one cropped to there. So now that we have that we can go ahead and we can place these on a sheet to print. So the sheets are in your project browser over here. You'll notice down here I've created a sheet for you called Composition. You can kind of think of this as a little InDesign. Um, and so what the sheets allow you to do is place the views on the sheet. So when you update the views, the sheets update. Um, so you kind of have that linked pass through. So if I double click on Composition, I've set up an 11 by 17 sheet for you. Um, you can come to the views, the pattern copy one, and you can left click on it and you can drag it out onto the sheet and left click. Now it does have a view title on it. Um, in the sheet, if you pick the view, it'll say viewport, viewport one. And if you go to the pull down, you can pick viewport gray, no title, and that'll get rid of the title. The um, crop box will not print, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, you can select this and go to the move and you see it will snap to that right there and you can move it, you know, wherever you like. Or you can just pick it and move it over like a half an inch. So it sits there and then you can go select your pattern two copy and place it. And you'll see how it wants to line up if it can. You see that blue alignment line? And then you can go to the viewport, get rid of the title, 
and you can also move it to there and then maybe move this one there to there. If it's really a small movement it will give you this error which is a little annoying so if I wanted to move that to that point I would actually have to pick this move it away and then move it back. It's a little strange right? So now I have those two guys situated on the piece of paper where I want them and the next thing we're going to do is print. So the next installment will be printing.